welcome friends so continuing with our series on problem uh, problem solving let's try and solve this problem so it's given that x squared plus 1 pi x squared is 27 okay this is the given information and basis this information you have to find out what's the value of x plus 1, of 1 upon x and x upon uh, sorry x minus 1 upon x so let's start with the first one so what is given it's given that x squared plus 1 upon x squared is equal to 27 now if you remember we have seen such identities or such, such terms before and such terms were expressed in let's say when a plus b whole square was there it is so when it was a plus b whole square it's a square plus 2ab plus b square now if you see carefully there is a power 2 here and in the final term there is power 1 on x similarly here it is 2 and then it has to be reduced to 1 right so hence if you see the if we if we square the target here that means what is the target target is x plus 1 upon x right if you square this term up here what will you get you will get x squared plus 2 times x times 1 by x plus 1 upon x whole squared isn't it so if you see this is nothing but x plus 1 upon x if i square and i'm using this identity over here will be equal to what x squared plus 2 plus 1 upon x squared right this x and this x can be cancelled right and uh, ideally it should be given that x is not equal to 0 so assuming x is not equal to 0 you can cancel that right now obviously x cannot be 0 why if x is 0 then it cannot be equal to 27 here this expression cannot be 27 so clearly you know that x is not equal to 0 so this cancellation is allowed why am i insisting upon you know ensuring that x is not equal to 0 is uh, you know division by 0 is not defined in mathematics okay now if you if you see uh, you get a term in the right hand side x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 isn't it i've just rearranged this right hand side here now if you see x square plus 1 1 upon x square is already given what's the value the value is 27 it's given right so hence this total is 27 plus 2 and hence it is 29 right so what do we observe we see that x plus 1 upon x whole square is how much 29 so i will do what square rooting both sides square rooting square rooting both sides what will you get you will get x plus 1 upon x is equal to plus or minus square root of 29 why plus and minus because if you square these two terms here if you square this you should come back to here so whether it is plus 20 root 29 or minus root 29 you will squaring will get you 29 so square root so you know whenever there's an equation something like this where x square is let's say something like a then x is nothing but plus minus root of a okay so that's what we did so we square root both sides and we we get that and that was what was expected so x plus 1 by x value is root over uh, plus minus root over 29 now let's get back to the second question second question is x minus 1 by x with the same given conditions so the given condition is x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 27 you have to find out what x minus 1 by x so if you square x minus 1 by x what will you get you will get x square minus 2 times x times 1 upon x plus 1 upon x whole square isn't it isn't it squaring this will give you this much now that means what this is nothing but x squared plus 1 upon x squared minus 2 because again x is not equal to 0 so this x can go so this is the final result but x square plus 1 y x square was given as to be 27. So 27 minus 2 is 25. Isn't it? So that means x minus 1 by x whole square is 25. 
So square rooting both sides like what we did in the previous question will be plus or minus under root 25 which is nothing but plus or minus 5 because under root 25 is 5. So hence we see x minus 1 by x value is plus minus 5. So this is how you have to solve such problems right. So what did we learn? We learned using using algebraic algebraic identities right identities for evaluating evaluating algebraic expressions right so keep this particular method in mind